All right, everyone, it's May 23rd. Uh, this is a Zone 3A container garden in an industrial area. Uh, I threw the baby bok choy in here. Um, this is going to be eggplant, but it's still too cool out for eggplant, so I threw them in there, see what happens. Spinach and daikon radish, peas in the back. Spanish yellow onions, nothing yet. Uh, spinach peas in the back and I put some root parsley in there see how that works out for me put some carrots in here um, carrot seeds carrots need uh, constant moisture to ger germinate I used last year I put cardboard on top this time I put uh, coral plasts on top just keep moisture and keep some off it till they germinate um, red shallots this is my weed bin also known as a flower bin we'll see Potatoes, these are Pontiac. Potatoes again, potatoes again. You can see I wrap the uh, cardboard around to keep the sunlight from the potatoes. I have some uh, video how I did this. Um, as soon as I figure out how to do video editing, I'll put it up. Nothing in here yet. That is a lavender plant. I overwintered at my house under green or er, grow lights. These are going to be the corn. I built a chair. <clears throat> corn, corn again. Corn's not in yet. It's out front. This is uh, Laurentian rutabagas. I put the bug net over top to keep the flea beetles out. I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's no flea beetles in there already. But. Uh, this is purple and uh, green cabbage. Insect netting again to keep the uh, cabbage moths off. Probably gonna put peppers here. Garlic, onions in front need to be put in somewhere. I don't know. Um, nothing yet, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Broccoli. I seem to remember last year the uh, cabbage moths go after the broccoli too, so insect netting again. And nothing has gone on down there yet. That's going to be pumpkin, squash, cucumbers. Anyway, that's the uh, Zone 3A container garden in an industrial area. I made up some hanging baskets with Cherry Falls tomatoes in them. They're inside right now because I'm going home. It is the weekend. And uh, it's still a little too cool to leave them out. I mean, it probably could, probably be fine, but see, I made a workstation here with a little potting table and uh, some old baskets a friend of mine gave me. This is the uh, potting table I made for, uh, out of pallets and uh, Mountain Dew. Anyway, some 3A Container Garden, May 23rd, 2022.